we're being joined by our second very special guest for this evening. You may have seen him in Wogs Out of Work and Acropolis now. Would you please welcome Simon Palamare? Yo! Hi! Thanks for, Hi. Thanks for joining Hi. us on the show, Simon. You're whipping up a bit of a treat for us. Uh, this is uh, what we're going to be doing every night uh, at the show. Which is calamares make this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> calamares Thanks. Calam Dagwood, Dagwood, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Palamares cooks calamares. At the start of the show, I incorrectly uh, pronounced your name, and it was yeah. because I didn't want to call you Simon Calamaro. Yeah, no, nothing personal. You know, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Is this right? Did I hear you on Triple M a couple of years ago? Were you working on Triple M? Oh my god, yeah, for like a week. Was I really? <laughs> yeah, I got fired. I didn't believe it. Oh, you got fired? <laughs> well, they, they had me on for a trial and they went, you can go away now, scary gay man. Um, <laughs> a good example of how confusing the English language can be, um, a group of very lovely ladies, there were hundreds of them in a hall somewhere in Victoria. I won't give the game away with geography here. And uh, I was being asked questions and just answering them as I, best I could. One woman put her hand up and said, Tonya, I've just been advised by the man at the hardware shop that I should install a dildo. Can you please tell me how? <laughs> so much confusion. This is, not, this is not an excuse for you to do a Scottish accent, is it? But yeah, let's have a try. Let's see, let's see your Scottish accent. You hump legs pretty well. Let's see if you can do Scottish legs. Scottish legs? Scottish accent's okay. Say, Akai. Akai. Akinu. Akinu. Panties. Panties. Not Scottish, but I just wanted him to say that. <laughs> Back to you at the studio. <laughs> Oh, g'day, it's Dipper here, right on the boundary. I'm talking to uh, Rob from the Dodge. Uh, he's had a good game so far. The audience have loved him. He's been really funny. How you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's good to hear. Back to you, Darren. <laughs> Would you please go crazy for Santo Chilaro! <laughs> Santo, thank you very much for joining us on our 50th episode. That's a, I didn't realise it was so full. I didn't realise it was so Brownlow metal. <laughs> Had I known, I would have worn a, a sequin encrusted G-string. <laughs> With the dish. There was another idea too. It was your circus idea. Oh, Tell us no. about that. Oh no, you can't. You, you didn't bring that up. <laughs> oh, you can't right here, believe that. Well, <laughs> it's, oh, I don't know. I just, uh, of it, one of the reasons we actually wrote the dish, it was written along, it was written before we even wrote the castle, oh, okay. is because I, we were going, hang on, we've been doing television and stuff for a long time. What's a good idea for a film? And, I'm, and I stepped up to the plate <laughs> and go, I know, Boy Inherits Bad Circus. You know? <laughs> and they looked, looked at me and they just said, okay, we are going to work for weeks to actually do a proper film. So, so, so uh, the, the, reason that, you know, the reason we actually have written films and are writing films is because I came up with a bad idea to start with. <laughs> oh, no. And doing the panel was so much fun, yeah. I must admit that. But it was the most intimidating sort of TV experience that you could ever do because it's five people and you're sort of sitting there going, what the hell am I doing here? These guys are really funny. I'm with professionals. And I'll never forget the first time I did it. And I've never really told this story before. Yeah. But and I, on the day, I was so nervous. And I only told probably two mates. And one of my best mates said, oh, gee, imagine if you just like broke down on national TV. It'd be really good to do that. You'd be really well known. And that was running through my mind all day. <laughs> then I got Thanks, there. Mate. It's a really nice environment, very welcoming. You all have a drink. Um, so you can have whatever you want. I just didn't want to drink at all. But I had about four waters. So I had about four litres of water by the time I went on. <laughs> Desperately needed to go to the toilet. The last thing that happens on TV, normally there's a makeup person and a wardrobe person. They have sort of like a final brush down and a final look at you. Yeah. And the wardrobe person sort of looked at me and said, oh, that'll have to do. <laughs> Makeup person. Hey, what are you worried about? I've got that 49 times. <laughs> yeah, I looked a little bit like. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> bro.